In this video, we're going to review how to work with backgrounds in the Post and Page Builder. You can use a solid color, gradient, or image as a background on a section, row, column, or column shape. Start by opening the hamburger menu for the element you want to change and choose Change Background. In this example, we're going to work with a section. The first option in this panel is where you can set a solid color or a gradient. The theme colors shown are pulled in from the customizer when used with a bold grid theme. If you're using a non-bold grid theme, you can set a palette from within the Post and Page Builder. Clicking a theme color will update the editor to the new color. You can also use the color picker at the top, enter a hex, or the RGB values to choose any color you want. From this panel, you can also choose a gradient. Your gradient can have as many colors or stops as you want. To delete a color, click its circle and then click the trash icon in the row above. To change a color, click the circle and click a color to change it. You can change the angle of the gradient by typing in a new number next to the angle icon. By default, the gradient will be linear, but you can change it to be radial by clicking on the option. You can drag the stops in for a more pronounced effect. To use an image background, click the image icon on the left side of the panel and then click the Add Image button. The media library will open and you can pick an existing image or upload a new one. When using an image for a background, we recommend it be at least 1920 pixels wide. From this panel, you can adjust the vertical position of the image or choose a scroll effect. If you want to add a color overlay to make it easier to read text on top of the image, toggle the overlay effect and navigate back to the background color panel to choose the color. You need to adjust the opacity using the slider in order to see the image behind the color. You can use a solid color or gradient as an overlay. If using a gradient, make sure you change the opacity of both colors unless you only want part of the image visible. To remove a background image, navigate back to the background image panel and click the Remove Image button. Thank you.